Hi guys. Ah, so good to be with you again today. Um, we're starting a new box today. It's called Clash. And it talks about when people don't get along in the Bible. All right. So, and we're also going to start a new verse today since we haven't done one in a while. Thought we were going to start a new curriculum this week, but um, Miss Shippie's grandpa died. So she's gone and we're going to wait a few weeks. So we'll go ahead and do a new verse. Okay. Uh, let's do this one together. Let's just say it together a couple times, okay? That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Philippians 2.10. Let's try it one more time. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Philippians 2.10. Good job. All right. Today's story is going to be in Exodus. Um, where's Exodus in your Bible? Is it New Testament or Old Testament? Shout it out. Um, it's Old Testament. All right. So kudos to you that got that one. Let's see where it's at in the Old Testament. Ready? Genesis, Exodus, right? So it's the second book in your Old Testament, and we're going to be on chapter five. So just go five chapters in, and you can read the story there. Um, so... The story is about a clash involving a bully who ruled over Egypt, Pharaoh, um, and the people of Israel, or Israelites as we call them, and Moses is leading them, okay? The Israelites in our story today were in Egypt and they were Pharaoh's slaves. Um, they had the job of making bricks and they could do it just fine, but it was a lot of work, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to find a timer, have your parents time you, or maybe have someone else count, and I want you to see how long it takes you to make two paper airplanes. So get two, two pieces of paper and make two planes. It doesn't matter what they look like, just any paper of airplanes, okay? And you can try them out too. Um, and see how long it takes you to make those planes and then come back, okay? Okay, then Moses went and asked Pharaoh if the Israelites could have take a day and go out, take a couple days and go out into the wilderness and worship the Lord. Moses didn't, or Pharaoh didn't take that very well. He thought maybe they were just being lazy. Maybe they didn't have enough to do because they were asking for a day off. And so he decided he needed to give them more work to do. So he said, no, you can't go out into the wilderness and worship your God. He said, and because you asked, I am going to make you make all your bricks without straw. And you have to do just as many. How do you make bricks without straw? See, bricks, I don't know if you knew it, you can make bricks with straw. Anyway, and straw is something you have to go out and you have to cut it in the field and haul it in. So that was going to be a hard thing to do, wasn't it? And they had to do it in the same amount of time that they'd, it, that they'd already had. And they had to make the same amount of bricks. And it was quite a process to make that straw into bricks. So this time... Um, I am going to make you have two, make two more airplanes, but you're going to have to, um, well, we'll have you make four total in the same amount of time. We're gonna do it that way because um, I don't have a way to make it harder for you. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll find a good use for four more airplanes, okay? So go ahead and time yourself same amount of time you did before, okay? So count down from the time. Only this time make four instead of two. See if you can do that. And just have fun doing it, okay? All right, and then come back. All right. Um, now, well, that's what Pharaoh made the Israelites do. They had to make the same amount of bricks and everything. Um, so... What I'm gonna have you do this time is I'm gonna have someone, have someone in your family turn their head and so that they can't see you, 
okay? And you fly your airplanes around. And what you have to do is when they say stop, and they don't know what you're doing, when they say stop, all your airplanes have to be in the air. You try that. Try to make it, you can't quit, you can't quit. You have to keep trying until all your airplanes are in the air when they say stop. All right, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, after a while, if you want, if you can't get it, you can cry mercy. How's that? All right, all right, so go ahead. All right, so what was unfair about my airplane commands? Ah, you probably have quite a few complaints about that, don't you? Okay, what was unfair about Pharaoh's commands? He knew they wouldn't be able to do that. I think he was just trying to punish them, don't you? Yeah. What do you do when things in life just aren't fair? What do you think? What should you do? Maybe you go like Moses did. Moses had went and asked Pharaoh um, for a real little relief and that didn't work, did it? Okay. Um, and then you know what? And then you know what Moses did? He went to God. Because the, the Israelites came back after all that. And they were complaining to Moses. You made him mad at us and now we have to do more work. This isn't working out well at all. They were complaining. And you know, they're really complaining about God. Because God was the one that told Moses what to do, didn't he? Yeah. And so Moses, where did Moses go? Moses went to God. Moses said, this didn't work out well, Lord, you know, and what am I supposed to do? These people are complaining to me. And he told the Lord all about it. <laughs> and he asked the Lord what to do next. That's what we need to do, isn't it? The Israelites couldn't solve their own problem. They tried talking to Pharaoh, that didn't help. So they went to Moses and complained. Uh, that he even that he even did it and but Moses turned to God and told him how frustrated he was and just like Moses we need to turn to God in tough times too okay now we're going to play a game and I'm going to ask you to complete some challenges okay you need to keep doing the activity until you need a break or are just too tired to continue okay all right, when you need a break, turn and turn to your mom or who's ever in the room with you and call out, mercy! And then you can immediately stop that activity, okay? Are you ready? All right, do 100 push-ups and then come back. Okay, how'd you do? This time I want you to do 200 sit-ups. You know what sit-ups are? Yeah, where you come up and touch your toes from down on the floor. Yeah. Come back. Do the same thing. Cry mercy when you need to. And then you can come back and, and see me. Okay. Now do 400 jumping jacks. See how many you can get done. Did you do all 400? Wow, that's a lot of jumping jacks. You know, jumping jacks aren't too hard, but that's a lot of jumping jacks, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it is. All right, let's try one more thing. I want you to do a handstand for 20 minutes. Now, if you need to do that, you know, against a wall, I'm assuming, then you can do that against a wall, but see if you can do that for 20 minutes. See how long you can stay there. All right, and come back. Okay, what was easy or tough about these challenges? Talk about it. How was this activity like or unlike Pharaoh asking the Israelite slaves to make bricks without straw? Was it impossible? No, but very unlikely, right? That's what I'm thinking, very unlikely that it would happen, that we would get through all that, especially to have as many done as Pharaoh said. 
Now I want you to tell about a time in you, your life where you felt like this game and you wished you could call out mercy. Go ahead and talk about it. Okay, well some of the things that I asked you to do were pretty tough. Sometimes life feels tough or even impossible, doesn't it? But the good news is, is that you can do the same thing thing you did in this game. You can ask for mercy from God. Instead of asking me, you can ask God. He's ready to help any of us. We can turn to God in tough times. Matter of fact, that reminds me of a verse that I know from the New Testament. And I believe it's in Philippians. Philippians 2, 19. I don't know. Check me. See if I'm right. But anyway, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So when we're all in, God comes in. It's like a backup. Yeah, that's pretty good backup, wouldn't you say? That's right. So, all right. Well, you have a good week. I'm praying for you that you depend on Christ more and more. Bye-bye.